Darius II is a 1989 arcade video game developed by Taito. It is the direct sequel to the 1987 Darius. It was later released as Sagaya in Japan in 1991 for the Game Boy as well as non-Japanese ports. A remake was released for the PC Engine Super CD-ROM squared as Super Darius II in 1993. Gameplay The game is set in the inner half of the Solar System, and has the same branching level structure as Darius. Similar to the first Darius game, Darius II was programmed for multiple screens, while a three screen version like the original exists. Darius II is more commonly and generally represented as a two screen game. The red, green, blue power ups from the first game return, and have the same function, respectively, upgrades to the missile main weapon and bomb subweapon, and a shield to absorb some damage. Two new power ups were added a yellow power up that adds a new laser main weapon that functions somewhat similarly to the bombs, and a rainbow power up that grants one upgrade to all the player's weapons. Actually acquiring these power-ups and the upgrade path is completely different from Darius, a formation of a specific enemy must be completely destroyed and a given formation may not have a power-up, and every single power-up now grants some kind of upgrade. Further, the various weapons upgrade differently, though the shield upgrade the same as before. Another new feature in Darius II is the appearance of minibosses known as captains, large enemies that appear somewhere in the level before the main boss. In Darius II, these are all smaller versions of bosses from the first game, with similar abilities. Plot Darius II takes place sometime after the first Darius game. The colonized planet Darius is recuperating from its invasion from the alien Belser army thanks to that game's heroes Proko and Tiat. Darius inhabitants have since situated themselves on the planet Olga while Darius societies, architecture and attack areas were being repaired. The Space Flight Headquarters established on Olga picks up an SOS signal coming from Earth, where the first colonists originated before colonizing Darius. The signal included the description of alien ships similar to those of the Belser army. Suspecting that these might be their remaining Earthling ancestors, the people of Darius sends both Proko Jr. and Tiat Young to help them. Ports A Mega Drive conversion was released in Japan in 1990, it was later released for the Genesis in the United States and Brazil in 1991, where it was renamed Sagaya. Changes include a boss rush mode via a code and various modifications to levels and mechanics, such as the boss Steel Spine being moved to another level and the boss Killer Higia being replaced with a similar creation called Nihonogia. This conversion does not support two players, so the ability to choose between Proko Jr. and Tiat Young was added. Proko plays like normal, while Tiat starts every life off with one power level to every weapon. A Master System conversion, developed by Natsumi, was released in Europe and Brazil in 1992, also titled Sagaya. It is somewhat based on the Mega Drive port, and while Tiat Young and her abilities are still present, though even more limited, many zones and thus bosses have been completely removed. The Super CD-ROM squared version features an entirely new set of bosses, major changes to levels, and a fully arranged soundtrack including new songs. In 1996, a port of the arcade version itself was released in Japan and Europe for the Sega Saturn, complete with two-player mode and stretchable wide-screen modes. The arcade version is also available in the Japan-only Taito Memories series of emulation-based compilations. Reception <laughs>